Hello, everyone. I would like you to compare two people. One person spends their entire life learning about philosophy, morality, science, math, and history. The other person spends their entire life playing football. Which one do you want to elect as president? Yeah, it's a pretty easy choice, don't you agree? So, what if we come across two people in the real world, one who spends his entire life playing football, and one who spends his entire life playing and learning about philosophy with other people? Which one are you going to listen to more and pay attention to more? Apparently, it's the football star. You are all guilty of being victims to the Roman circus. If you don't know what the Roman circus is, look it up. I'm sure you can do a better job of learning what it is than what I can do explaining it. So, which brings me to my uh, conclusion here. What kind of person are you? What kind of time do you spend learning? What do you spend learning monetarily? What do you like to learn about? All of these things need to be asked. And it's sad that I'm the one that has to ask them. Because your parents should be the ones asking them for you. They should be the ones who are like, yeah, maybe you should spend less time on football and more time on philosophy. That's what a good parent would do. They would try and teach you all the right and wrong things about this world first. And then you can play as much football as you want. Yeah. How many of our football stars out there know the difference between right and wrong? Not many. When you factor in that the wife beaters, the violence, and everything, all the personal injuries they suffer, it's just all too gruesome to be excused. It really is. It's the Roman circus to a T. It's keeping the people ignorant and stupid and away from morality and philosophy and politics. Things that actually change the world. Nobody in football changes the world. I'm sorry. But nobody in football changes the world. Only people in philosophy, morality, and politics do. History, math, science. The important things in this life. We have time for games, but games have time after we are done learning. Okay? You have to learn first... And then play your silly little sport, okay? Maybe you should learn your top five favorite philosophers more than you should learn your top five favorite football players. Then the world would be a much better place. Much better. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.